you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rapala Lures, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod, Northwest Ontario, Canada, Abu Garcia, quality rods and reels for life. This week on Midwest Outdoors, Lake of the Woods with Joe Henry and Greg Jones. Bass action with the Abu Garcia Pro Staff. And all new boat care products from JJV's Best. It all starts right here, right now. Hi hey folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we're out on Lake of the Woods and we're with Joe Henry, the tourism director, and he's hooked up. We've been on the water about five minutes. We're charter fishing, Joe, huh? I'll tell you what, nothing like charter fishing. You have two decisions to make in a day. What should I wear and what should I eat? And bring your muscles, because these fish are nice. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. Here's a good one, huh? That's a good starter. Let's see, let's get this fish out of here quick. Yeah, good fish here. Yeah, good fish. Look at that fish. Tell you what, Greg, not a bad start, eh? Oh, yeah, and that's charter fishing up here. You're going to catch them all day long, plus plenty for the dinner table. You know what? Let's put this big girl back so she can reproduce. They're going to get sound? bigger yet today, too. <laughs> bigger? Smaller? Yeah, you know, it looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, there's some shoulders. That's yeah. that's the beauty about the charter fishing, though. It's easy and it's fun for everybody. It doesn't matter if you've fished all your life or if you've never fished before. As far as charter fishing, you can come up just a single person and, and get in a, a charter boat with other people, yep. groups of two, all the way up to groups of six. And the neat thing, too, is that different different groups come up. I mean, you got groups of friends coming up. you got the girls' groups coming up, bachelor parties. you also got uh, families coming up and doing this. Yep. And you even have the corporate groups. And I'll tell you, it makes it such a neat corporate trip to get out of charter boat and make fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, there we go. There's a fish there, Greg. Yeah. There's a lot of reasons to come to Lake of the Woods, but I'll tell you something. When you catch a fish like this, and look how we had him hooked. I'm gonna pop that hook out just like yeah. that. Look at that. Look at the size of that walleye. I'll tell you, that's, you just look at the size of that head, the size of that body, and look how healthy those fish are. Now this is a trophy fish right here. It's a fish of a lifetime it, for a lot of people, but it happens every day out here. That's why it's Minnesota's best fishery. Lake of the Woods, baby. I'm Joe's net boy today, that's my job. I'm catching all the little ones, Joe's catching the big ones, but somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the last fish we got was over 28. That was a nice trophy. We got one over, today it was probably 25 already. We got a couple eaters and we've just been out a half hour. Look at that fish, huh? But I'll tell you what, and this is this is the third big fish we caught in the day. And Greg, we've been on here 30 minutes. Look at the size of that fish. It's going, but that's why people come up here. You come up here to catch fish. Yeah. You don't this really is call uh, it fishing here, you call it catching. Amen. <laughs> yeah, this one's gonna be a while. Greg, I'll tell you what, no commercial netting. We uh, we got a slot limit, 19 and a half to 20, you gotta throw them back. Yeah. And uh, I'll tell you, all that combined with we got millions of walleyes and we got monsters. Oh, that's a lunch one. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one there. It's popped off, too. How are you doing in yours? What do you got? Well, I'm uh, taking my time so we can get that uh, net available here. I think I might have you okay. in size. Well, your fishing's been going all year, too, hasn't it? You know what? We uh, the, charter, the charters are on them from opening date. Oh, look at that fish. Wow, look at the shoulders out there. Yeah, fish. there you go. But yep, the, the, uh, the charter's been on them uh, ever since opening day, Greg. Yeah. There's different techniques they use to do them, to catch them. And I'll tell you what, uh, they're, they're on them all the time. You know, we're crankbaiting today right now. We might switch up and do a little eye bait here and in a while, but you can uh, you can fish it however you like to out here. A uh, couple of uh, nice little double header, eh? Yeah, mine beats yours. Here we go. Get him? Yep. Yeah. I'll tell you, Greg, one of the cool things about it with Lake of the Woods is that it's actually three fisheries in one. On the south end, we have the Rainy River. In the middle, we have the big open water that we're on now called Big Travers. Yeah. Up in the north country, we've got the Northwest Angle. Greg, up there, that's where they got over 14,500 islands. Yep. I'll tell you what, it's fun. That's the most northern point in the lower 48 of the states, that's too, right, right up yep. there. Let's get this eater in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a good net job, huh? Nice net job. Yep. 
And you mentioned that top and the bottom too. That's uh, with fall coming around. That's where that casting blast comes into play, huh? Greg, it's so much fun. You know what? You can get your walleyes any time of the day, but then the hunting up here is incredible. Yeah. You, know, you got uh, three species of grouse, and there's grouse everywhere up here. You got thousands of acres of public hunting land. Yep. You have your waterfall, and then you also have your big game. You have your deer, you have your bear, and some folks even do the, the wolf hunting now. Yep. Limited walleyes in the morning, go hunting in the afternoon. Nothing like it. Not a bad gig. Oh, we're going to eat that. Let's pop this baby out here. A lot of fishing's catching them, but a lot of it's the memories you have from oh, catching them. They, they do. You know, look, look at the fish we've caught today. We haven't even been on a half day yet. And we're just stacking the walleyes like this. And look how healthy these fish are. Oh, yeah. Jeff, right? You know what? What we're going to do now, we've caught trophy fish over 28 today. We've caught a lot of big fish. We've caught a lot of eater fish. Now we're going to go enjoy some shore lunch. Sounds good, because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Tell you what, what a nice way to finish up in the morning. And uh, you know, we fished this morning. We caught a lot of fish. We caught monster fish. And what a great way to finish up our morning is with a great shore lunch put on by one of our great charter captains. You know what? If you'd like more information, come up to Lake of the Woods. It's lakeofthewoodsmn.com or check us out on Facebook at Lake of the Woods MN. For Greg Jones, I'm Joe Henry. Midwest Outdoors will be right back. Looking for your window to the outdoors? We have you covered with a Midwest Outdoors magazine subscription. Call now, 1-800-606-FISH, and for the low price of only $14.95, you receive 12 big issues of Midwest Outdoors magazine. Every month, Midwest Outdoors sends you the ultimate fishing and hunting guide to the outdoors. Call 1-800-606-FISH, or visit MidwestOutdoors.com to get your ultimate guide to the outdoors. If you don't have one, you need one. He did jump. Hi folks, I'm Larry Ladowski and today I'm down in El Salto, Mexico. Fishing out of Anglers Inn International. I'm fishing with Paul Davis of Abu Garcia Fish and Tackle. And we're not only gonna hopefully catch some giant bass today, but we're gonna talk to Paul about rod and reels and what makes a rod and reel help you put better, more fish in the boat. So stick with us, we're gonna catch some fish and have some fun. There we go. And there's another one. <laughs> it's almost every cast, Paul. <laughs> Ooh, taking some drag on you. This might be a decent one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you net yours. I'll just kind of hang on to mine here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're fishing these new Veritas rods. How are you liking oh, these for I'm, crankbaits? I'm, I think it's terrific. Winch series. It's a little bit feisty. Good fish. So we're fishing this, uh, the new Veritas 2.0. And what we added is uh, a couple of winch series models, and those are cranking specific uh, rods. So before we had two, now we've expanded that. Um, this in particular is the 7.11.7, which is perfect for these big crankbaits. We've changed up a few things. We've kept uh, the Veritas the way it used to be. Um, the cosmetics look similar to the old one, but the inside of it is where everything has changed. We put a spiral carbon core, and basically what that is is a filament of carbon fiber that runs throughout from butt to tip the inside wall of this rod. And what that does, it's like a garden hose. If you think of a garden hose and it's open like that and you bend it, it'll kink. With having that filament in there, it doesn't allow it to kink and we increase brake strength, overall brake strength on average 22% and then tip strength by 30% across the whole series. The other nice thing about these rods too, you can hoist the fish right in. Big fish. See him yet? Big fish. There he is. Ah, he's not that big. He's decent. He felt a lot bigger than he was. Ooh, he's coming up 
quick. All right, Paul, so we covered, covered rods. Yeah. Reels, there's so many out there. What goes into the design of a reel? So we've got so many different ones. We've got, you know, standard reels that can be used for a variety of techniques. And then you've also noticed that we've got some reels that are very specific as well. Um, for example, right now we're throwing the winch. Uh, works really well for crankbaits. That's what it's designed for. It's a low gear ratio. Uh, makes it easy to, to turn, pull these big crankbaits, pull those big fish in, like a winch on a truck. It's got the, the, the power got the to do torque. it. Yep, it's got the torque. Um, this year we came out with the Beast, which we've been fishing earlier. Uh, it's sort of like the winch, but it's just beefier. It's got a higher gear, gear ratio. So when you get fish in these, this thick cover, you can just really just get them out and you want that faster speed so you can just leverage them out of the, the, uh, the trees. 22 pounds of max drag, things like that to just really make that reel a tank. And I'm sure one of the best parts is going out and testing these new rods and reels, especially if you can get down to El Salto and test it on some of these huge bass. Whoever brings their tackle down here, you put it to the test. I mean, you really do. When you're wrapped up in a tree like that or you're trying to pull a nine pound bass around you know, a ledge, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's the perfect pruning ground. Oh yeah, he's gonna jump in the boat. <laughs> Switched up the spinnerbait, throwing it on this beast reel. So we came across that point, cast it with this beast reel. If he gets into the trees, I can winch him right out. Easy to do with these big knobs and big handle. Get a lot of leverage on this fish. What a day. We got a front coming in, so we're gonna head into the lodge here. I wanna thank Paul Davis and Abu Garcia Fishing for having us down to El Salto. I also wanna thank Anglers Inn International, as well as our terrific guide, Juan, for, for all the work he's done today. Remember, pay attention to your gear. It's the little things that'll help you land more fish in the boat. Whatever you're fishing for, make sure you match the gear for it. I'm Larry Ladowski, catch you later. Hi folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we're back with Jack Dukes from JJV's Best Company. They make a great line of environmentally friendly marine cleaning products. Jack's family's been cleaning boats for a couple decades. They know how to do it better than anybody else. Now today we're here to introduce you to a couple new products that they have. Number one being the Zebra Muscle Release Agent. You can see the zebra mussels behind us here on the boat. It's a problem these days and a challenge in our lakes. And we're gonna show you how to take care of them real quick and easy. Now Jack, what's the setup you wanna use on the Zebra Muscle Release Agent? Like all of our products, you simply pour it into the sprayer, you apply it to the surface that you're working on, you allow the product to do the work, and you rinse it off. No scrubbing required. Now we're going to be demonstrating on a wood boat, but you can use it on aluminum, fiberglass? On any painted surface other than an abative paint that will come off with just plain water to begin with. We're showing you one of the hardest surfaces to clean right now. Now we're going to give it about three minutes time to do its work and then we'll just rinse them off with a garden hose. Alrighty, we've let it sit for three minutes now and we're just going to take a garden hose, but even with a garden hose you should still wear glasses because stuff can fly back at you. But as you'll see, we are actually just rinsing them right off. Now if you can take a close up, you can see that all the zebra mussels are removed. Now it's easy to see about that back six, seven foot where the agent was put upon, the zebra mussels come right off. Now you can see right here, the agent was, wasn't down this far. Now Jack hits that with water, they stay right there. And I'm even getting closer to get more pressure on them. They're not coming off. All right, let's take a look at the product again. This time we're gonna use it on the trim tabs, on the depth finder mount. We wanna get inside these spaces where they're hard to find. Jack, why don't you go ahead and apply it? You want to, uh, want to get the product deep into the uh, small areas and tight areas behind things. Uh, if the product does not get to it, it won't release the uh, zebra mussels properly. And no matter what you do, always go back, double check your work, because someplace there's going to be a hidden one. You can actually use it inside like an inboard here too on the, the crevices in behind there? In, in particular, in, inside um, the outdrives is why we designed this product. It's very hard to get to them, very hard to see. Okay, our product will do 99% of the work for you. Uh, there's that 1%, you still have to get in there and maybe get one or two off, uh, but that way you won't be bringing a problem to another lake that does not have these little critters yet.
Okay, we have given it the three minute dwell time that we recommend everyone does, and we'll go ahead and start rinsing now. Now this is one of the reasons why I say you still have to double check. We still do have a few zebra mussels in here. I always have a little brush to give them a little wipe off. If they get into real uh, hard places to get to, I just take a little scraper, they come right off. Now we'll take the garden hose and finish rinsing them off. I just saved you hours of scrubbing and scraping that you would normally have to do. Also new from JJB's Best is Streak Master. I'm going to use this on campers, RVs, trailers, sides of pontoons. What's the application process? Application is a sponge, uh, bucket and brush, uh, spray it on, wipe it off. Depending on the size unit you, you have, uh, you may want to make a big bucket of it or you want to make a little small uh, batch and spray it on. We took an old dirty trailer and made it look almost new again. Two great new products to add to JJV's best current lineup, including aluminum pontoon cleaner. Simply apply at full strength with a dedicated Hudson sprayer on dry bare aluminum. Apply from the bottom up, completely covering the surface area. A foaming action will take place, allow three to five minutes of dwell time, then thoroughly rinse with a pressure washer from the top to the bottom of the area. Boat scum remover is designed for use on both painted aluminum and fiberglass hulls to remove heavy scum, algae, and mineral buildup from below the waterline. Apply on a dry surface at full strength with a dedicated Hudson sprayer from the bottom to the top and allow three to five minutes of dwell time, keeping the surface area wet. Let the boat scum remover do the work and simply pressure wash away years of buildup. No scrubbing required. The popular concentrated boat wash is designed for fiberglass and painted aluminum for use above the waterline and interior cleaning. Mix two ounces with a gallon of water and apply with the method of your choice. Use a soft brush or towel to agitate the surface and rinse. Boat wash also works great for cleaning boat carpet. Quickly remove algae and mold spots from your boat's interior. Simply apply, agitate, and rinse or wipe clean. Concentrated bilge degreaser removes grease and oil from any type of surface. Dilute as directed and spray on the area to be cleaned. Rinse with water and wipe or air dry. Dispose of grease and oil contaminated water properly. All JJB's best products are acid free and environmentally friendly. Choose the correct product for the cleaning job at hand and follow the directions. You'll be amazed at the results. You can find JJV's best products at a marine dealer near you. For more information, visit jjvsbest.com. Looking for your window to the outdoors? We have you covered with a Midwest Outdoors magazine subscription. Call now, 1-800-606-FISH, and for the low price of only $14.95, you receive 12 big issues of Midwest Outdoors magazine. Every month, Midwest Outdoors sends you the ultimate fishing and hunting guide to the outdoors. Call 1-800-606-FISH or visit MidwestOutdoors.com to get your ultimate guide to the outdoors. If you don't have one, you need one. I'm John Munson and this is Clay Brisbane and we're with Bill's Gun Shop and Range and this is your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Tip of the Week this week is to trust your target. Once you get done shooting, take a look at your target and you can determine what you're doing wrong just by where the bullet holes are. If you're shooting too far to the left, it's caused by not having enough finger on the trigger. This is causing you to push the gun to the left while you're trying to pull it to the rear. If you're shooting too far to the right, you're doing the opposite. You have too much finger on the trigger, and now you're pulling it to the right as you're trying to pull it to the rear. Shooting too far below the bullseye is the instinctive pushing back against the recoil of the gun. This causes you to move your sights to the bottom of the target as the gun is firing. Finally, you have the low and left. For a right-handed shooter, this is caused from milking the grip. This is causing the muscles to bind up and bringing the muzzle low and left that's your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. I'm John Munson with Clay Brisbane, Bill's Gun Shop and Range. We'll see you at the range. Hi, I'm Lucas Stewart, Lawrence Product Line Director. I'm gonna show you the HDS Gen 3 connected to the uh, MotorGuide XI5. 
but whenever you're fishing a ledge or you're fishing down a bank and uh, you want to basically have the, the trolling motor steer for you, you can set up a route right on the right on the GPS screen. We're going to create a new uh, new route, easy do new route, and then you simply lay it on the chart. So here we don't have uh, a lot of a bank, but we'll come around this area. So now we've laid out this route. I want this trolling motor to do it, and now I have the option to either uh, navigate this forward or backwards, and uh, we are going to do route three, and we're going to start it. And I'm going to run it forward. So now, trail motor is going to ask to engage, and I can say, "Hey, I only want to go down this bank at a, a half a mile an hour." Or if I was actually trolling a lure or something for you know walleye, I, I could say, "Oh, I want two and a half miles an hour." If I wanted to set up turns right here, right on the unit, um, I've got all these different types. So I can do a U-turn, a C-turn, a square, a zigzag. Uh, or spiral. I can pick how many number of legs I want to have. So let's say I want 15. So that's how many times we're going to basically be turning. And uh, I can set each leg distance and I can tell if I want to start off going port or starboard. So I'll say uh, port and so you can see here laid my zigzags out on my chart and uh, so now the uh, trolling motor will just start taking us across those zigzags. I'm Lucas Stewart. That's your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Closed captioning of Midwest Outdoors, sponsored by Midwest Outdoors Magazine, on your newsstand now.